Oh. Hey, I'm Jazzy. I'm Chris. And we're Artsy, Artsy Kids. Kids. My name is Osa Rosti and I'm a paper mache artist. Uh, basically, I create uh, using recycled paper, cardboard and other things. Uh, uh, I create um, art, uh, home decor pieces. Uh, you can see some over there on the back. I mean, my inspiration comes from everything, basically. Like, it can be a color, it can be a person I meet, it can be a memory, it can be an emotion. To be a place, a pattern, all these things uh, it comes into my brain and then it just got swooshed around and, and out sort of comes an idea of a character I want to make. It just kind of just pops up like that. I, I almost feel like it's, it's like beings that are already existing, but they kind of want to come out through me, if that makes sense. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've been working with a lot of different things because for me, Obviously, every person is different. For me, it has been important to experiment with different materials because I didn't really know from the beginning what was the material I preferred to work with. So I tried a lot of things. I was jumping from a lot of things. So, so I've been painting. Uh, obviously, in art school, I did a lot of jewelry design. So I worked with metal, silver, gold, uh, stones, etc. And then I, I also made a lot of sculpture and things with found objects and wood. And, and early on, I started be very interested in using recycled materials to create, uh, basically. Uh, I've been also studying the importance in ceramics, so I've been working in ceramic quite a lot mm, and making also sculptures, but I always felt like, you know, you have a feeling like you, you love what you're doing, but it's not quite exactly what you're looking for when you create. And so then I've been traveling a lot as well. In fact, I, I've been spending a lot of time in Australia and because I was traveling, I needed to work with something that was easy to find and also obviously not too expensive a material that you can find anywhere you are even if you go to a small island somewhere and and uh, you want to create so early on i found that paper mache was uh, a very good material to work with because paper uh, glue uh, some tape wires i mean you can use anything you recycle and, and and use it in your paper mache making paper mache is such a fantastic material to work with because it's, I mean, when I say to people, I work with paper mache, they, they kind of imagine maybe balloon figures that we made in kindergarten, and stuff like that. <laughs> but, you know, and it's been that as well, which is great. But paper mache can be also very complicated. You can create amazing structures and, and shapes. Uh, basically, the rays are just paper. Uh, I use a glue that I make myself from uh, wheat. So it's a wheat paste glue, so it's completely natural. I use uh, cardboard. I create a sort of a sort of a base and the shapes and, and so on and then I, I cover it with with either strips of paper in, in glue uh, that I cover it many many layers or I make a paper pulp and I cover the masks and yeah so I love creating so uh, for me every step in in my creative process is something I love and and it's uh, in the beginning I mean I love the beginning when you have all the ideas and it's like all going around and, and it's sort of anything can be I mean it's all open and, and you kind of take it down and you start to think and you can see something emerging from all those ideas that's something I really love and then I also love when when I do have the idea and when I start to create it when I start to build uh, the pieces and I can see them growing because in the beginning you can feel a bit like oh, okay no this is not working maybe this shape is not working but then all of a sudden you just see uh, the object taking form and, and the personality in my case working with the wall mask for example they are all characters and and I just love to see when the personality is being born uh, and then obviously I love the painting the painting process I love colors so anything colorful when I put my paint brush uh, into the paint that's something uh, that gives me great energy uh, because colors are energy and, and, and it kind of fills my whole body with energy. Uh, so that's something I really love about creating. And then also I love the feedback I get from people. As I said before, I have a lot of uh, people contacting me that are saying, look, I've been seeing your things on, on Instagram, for example, 
and you know it's a long time I don't do anything creative but now I feel like I want to get back into starting to try paper mache it looks so much fun I'm gonna start to work and I'm gonna do some stuff and then later on they they send me pictures of what they're doing and they make amazing things for both adults and, and children because I have a lot of art teachers contacting me as well as I said before and that's something I would really love to see uh, when I receive uh, the photos of their work and also seeing how happy they feel and and uh, how they've been feeling inspired and that I sort of sparked uh, a sort of a thing for them to start to create again and and that's something because I think it's very important for people uh, if you have that feeling that you want to create it's very important to to, to basically being able to pray. And so that's something I really, really love. It's a, it's a soothing uh, process, uh, quite a long process, but but it's it's that's also very nice because you have to be a little bit relaxed and, and uh, calm when you make it, and, and I like that. Obviously, I've been working with Pepe Maché for more than 15 years now. So uh, I started using more, making more sculptures. But then, actually, funny thing was that I, I always been interested in masks, uh, you know, like the Venetian mask that you know you go to carnivals, or also like um, how masks are used in, in different cultures around the world as a sort of a magical, mystical thing where you take on the energy or the power of, of, of whatever the mask is representing. So it's sort of like you become a different persona. It's like the mask has a persona by itself. So I always been interested in that. And then, as it happened, I was into, invited to um, uh, what's it called? Uh, a carnival. I, I live in Italy, so you have the carnival here, and you go to these carnival parties where you wear masks, basically. Uh, you've probably seen from Venice where they go around; they have these carnival parties. So I was in, invited to a carnival party, and I, I was like, okay, I have to go and buy a mask, and I didn't really find one uh, that I liked because I wanted something more uh, particular. So oh, I'm just gonna make one. So I started. <laughs> to make uh, one out of paper mache. And uh, it was like a rabbit. I remember it had like big pink hair and, 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 but I noticed I wasn't really good at making masks that you can wear because it's quite, it's a little bit complicated. I mean, it has to be comfortable and stuff. You know, I like more to make masks that you wear, you put on the wall as a decoration more. And, and that's sort of how it started. From that, I was like, wow, this is so fun to make this, uh, like characters like i i felt like i had all these characters they wanted to come out so so i was like okay let's start to make uh, just start to experiment and see what comes out so it just started like a fun thing basically to experiment and just sort of be free and and happy with what you're creating and just don't think about oh is this good is this bad what am i creating just like sort of go with the flow and create whatever you want to do because in the end of the day it's, you know it's your expression from where you come from from inside and and it doesn't really matter what it is it's just about that happiness of, of uh, building something or creating something and and whatever it is and even if you feel like maybe something oh this is not i'm not good at this and so on i would suggest continue anyway i mean if you feel like you want to create things just continue and and then you will slowly slowly see the road opening for 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 what it is you're doing and also don't be afraid of experimenting with different kinds of materials and also unconventional materials that maybe people don't really use in what they're doing or or you know simple materials you, you know you can create with everything just just you know let yourself run free basically that's what i would suggest for people to do